11 11 starts on this Sunday night with an international arrest. The feds have been looking for this guy, Sergey Verlin, since July. He's one of 12 people indicted in a moving company scam with ties to Westchester. Jasmine Miner is live at the Butler County Jail tonight where Verlin sits behind bars. Jasmine. Yeah, Evan, well, Ber Berlin has ripped off more than 900 people nationwide on this scam with over 100 of those people right here in the tri-state. And tonight, some of the victims of the scheme tell me that they've learned their lesson on who they can trust. Money paid before, during, and after the moving process. Anytime a mover asks you for money up front, Run. Jeannie Porter says she and her husband Mike had to make all those payments when they hired flagship van lines to take their belongings from Ohio to Florida. It never came. We were sitting here in Florida with no furniture in our house for about three weeks. But that was back in July. The feds say their belongings were held in this warehouse in Westchester. The porters say they didn't get their things back until October. It seemed to be all there. It was stacked up pretty high. Officials say Verlan fled the country after the charges were made. He currently sits behind bars on an immigration and customs retainer. They say he and 12 others would load up the vans, take the possessions hostage, and then require customers to pay an even higher price. Sometimes the customers paid those prices. Sometimes the goods were delivered. Sometimes these companies didn't deliver the goods at all. And the price was hefty. Jeannie says they paid the company nearly $2,400. And while she got her furniture back, she's still missing a TV and jewelry. Electronics and tools are the, one, the things that they targeted. The nearly 1,000 victims nationwide have found comfort in each other by creating a Facebook group called Flagship Van Lines Buyer Beware. Some people couldn't afford to move their furniture the second time. And Jeannie says the group provides families affected with hope. We just want to make sure that people are aware that these individuals are out there. Jeannie tells me that Facebook group has helped several families earn back some of their things and even earn back some of their money. As for Verland, he pleaded not guilty in federal court on Friday and he is currently being held with no bond. I'm live at Butler County Jail. Jazza Minor, Nan on your side.